guys, welcome to Rockford Ordnance. Today we are bringing back our CZ Scorpion. We've had an absolute blast with this gun and we've outfitted it with a bunch of accessories. We're going to talk about those today, go through them a little bit, tell you what we're adding here. We got some new parts and just tell you about how this thing's been working and how much fun we've been having with it. Also want to tell you about our upcoming video. We've got one coming out on our DMR build, so watch for that. Also, while you're at it, if you like our videos, go down right here, subscribe to our channel, hit the like bell so you get the updates from our channel, and like the video, it really helps us. And uh, yeah, share them if you would too. If you know anybody uh, that you think would benefit from some of these videos, please by all means share it. So let's talk about this Scorpion. So I bought this, you know, they've been kind of the hot thing for a couple years and I had been putting it off. And I love my AKs, I love my, my ARs. I have absolutely fallen in love with this little uh, machine pistol. So when we bought it, it was a pistol configuration. There was just an end cap on it. We added the CZ uh, cheek rest, the adapter for the Gearhead Works Mod 1 brace, which I absolutely love. And it really just stepped this gun up to a whole new level. It's comfortable, it shoots well in its intended mode as a pistol. It doesn't do that weird uh, wrist cock like a lot of them do. It's truly, truly useful. Um, just enjoy it. Solid as a rock, no movement. This was by far the best ad we put on. So, factory CZ cheek rest, the Gearhead Works adapter, and the Gearhead Works Mod 1 pistol brace. That was uh, what really stepped this thing up. So I got it and I was shooting it and you probably heard a lot of complaints that the safety, it's got an ambidextrous safety, one on the left side of the gun, one on the right side. And when you put it into the fire position, like this, the standard safety kind of sticks straight down. Well, as you're shooting it, you can see that safety rubs right here on your finger. Well, <laughs> I loved it, this gun so much, shot it so much, it literally wore a hole in my finger. It, it was bad, um, and there, you know, there didn't seem to be many stock solutions. So enter the aftermarket, and we installed this. Uh, it's called a reverse safety. So I left the stock one on the left side because I'm right-handed, and we went to this reverse safety. So there's the stock. Uh, position and as you can see it's angled a little downward but when we put it in the fire position it's now instead of angled down it's angled straight to the side clearing your finger problem solved there's a couple of other companies out there making some they make an AK style and it's very similar to this but it operates from here up so you're sweeping it like an AK um, safety this reverse one is great because I can go from, with my uh, thumb here on the left side of the gun, I can go to fire, safe, fire, safe, fire, safe. Just works great. And you can do it really quick, and once you're used to it, it works great. There's a lot of companies out there making grips for this thing. There's a lot of companies out there making mag releases, all kinds of stuff, right? I have ordered an Apex grip for it with uh, everything that's going on today. Um, orders on gun parts, ammunition, everything are really slowed down. So it's taken a little extra time to get the grip, but that'll be coming. As far as the mag release goes, I the way this sits, the mag release is just fine with me. I don't care to have an AK style mag release on it. To me, this is faster. I can just hit it 
and this is a manicord mag, you can see it drops right out. If you're straight, it still drops out. So really, really nice. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I don't see us uh, changing that out in the future. I've been using the stock trigger and while it's okay, it is, let's see, it's just mushy. There's a lot of take up and then mush and a break. As far as reset goes, long reset, a positive click however, and just that mush. So, we've got a solution for that we're going to put on today. I put on the Holosun Sun H, uh, HC, H, I'm sorry, H5, I always forget this one. It is an HS510C. This one happens to be flat dark earth with the green dot, and this thing's really great. While it does not co-witness, it is just such a wide open uh, view here on the viewfinder. You can switch between a ring with a dot and just the dot uh, for some finer work, and it just works out great. The factory flash hider has been fine. I don't see any need for changing that. And uh, I went with an angled mag pull grip on the front here, which works really well. Uh, the factory charging handle. I want to replace that with a little longer one. Out of stock right now. I've got one on back order. That'll be coming and we'll bring it to you. Uh, what else? The big thing for this is uh, mounting a sling. I want to mount it using uh, QD adapters and there's a spot in the brace here but I'll probably run this on a single point or two point and there's a company out there making adapters that mount here and here on this little uh, where you put the keychain rings through I'm gonna get those again they're on back order these things are so popular it's a little tough to get parts so uh, we're gonna get those and I think those will work out magnificent so what are we doing today? Well, we are adding, uh, upgrading, I should say, our trigger on this. Let me show you what we got here. We got a hold of HB Industries and they make a few different trigger shoes. And this happens to be their Theta. It's uh, all aluminum, machined really nicely. It has three holes in it and it's a flat face and it's all it's called their forward trigger so what it does is move that trigger face five millimeters forward they say it increases the pull a little bit i'm not so much concerned with that i just think the extra leverage we're going to get out of this the flat face i think it's going to work out really well so i'm excited to put this on it's not a big deal there's other videos on how to put them in it's simple uh, i'm not going to bore you guys with that also from HB, and this is what's really going to improve this trigger. This is their light spring kit. So it comes with a trigger return spring, a disconnector spring, as well as a little spacer uh, so that the, uh, the, safe, the internal safety lines up correctly. Uh, really easy to put in while we're in there. And guess what? Eight bucks super super cheap eight bucks i forget how much this trigger was maybe 35 somewhere around there while i was at it i ordered some of these mag couplers uh i don't know if they're made by cz or if they're made by let's see um yeah cz usa so these are cz products and they are marked cz scorpion and what you can do with this is couple two mags together. So these are factory CZ mags, 30 rounders, and they just clip over the mags and hold two of them in place. So you can essentially, let me open the bolt on it. So you got the one mag in, like so. The other mag's hanging on the side there. So when you're out, you simply Disconnect the mag, move it over, put the other side in, and you're good to go for another 30, effectively turning it into a 60 round mag, sort of. But quick mag change, 
back and forth works good um, pretty stable you know when I first looked at them I thought boy that looks kind of eh but it's their smoke color I wonder if they're made out of the same polymer that the mags are and uh, it seems to hold them they're pretty sturdy I've seen some guys using two on uh, each one and maybe that just gives them a little more stability this way but I tell you what they're pretty tight and I'm happy with them I'll show you how quick and easy this works and they also fit on the manicores I have not tried them with the mag poles but uh, I assume they would work I'll try them and I'll let you know down here I'll put a little statement in there so you got the longer part of the T or I I should say it's I shaped longer part of the eye shorter part of the eye there's a bigger hook here on the shorter part of the eye so that goes into the back rail that's a deeper rail on the back of the mag and you simply put it in that rail and then snap the front over like so you want to put it you want to leave enough room so you can obviously get the mag into the mag well but you want to leave enough room at the bottom so you can get a good firm purchase on the mag too so all we do then is the same thing on the other mag kind of keep them even there's this rubber grippy stuff in here too that keeps them from sliding up and down along with the tension so we just get it in there and clip it in and it's that simple you are good to go and looks pretty cool works pretty cool Ooh, that reminds me we have a drum from f5 uh, manufacturing coming in flat dark earth that's going to be cool it's 50 round drum i'm looking forward to that getting here all billet aluminum we'll bring you a video on that so what i am going to do here is get the light spring kit put in and the shoe and we'll bring you the gun and we'll show you a little shooting and show you the differences and uh, it should be pretty neat so give me a second to put those in and we'll see you at the range well guys through the magic of video editing uh, we had a change up didn't head right to the range we did get our trigger put in as well as our trigger shoe but in the interim i told you about that f5 drum mag we had coming well guess what showed up there you have it, it it's much smaller than i originally thought it would be just had a mind's eye picture of it and uh you know seeing it uh on the internet and whatnot i just thought it was going to be much bigger this is a great thing it's such a little package look at this it's smaller it's like the palm of my hand it's incredible and check it out loads right in look at that how cool is that awesome so um a couple things first and foremost um this really isn't a call out, I guess. I should probably uh, have some patience, I guess. You know, everybody, when you order parts uh, last couple weeks with the uh, COVID and the lockdown and all of that, they all have disclaimers, can take uh, X amount of time, add a week or two, this and that. No problem, I get it. I'm in retail, I understand it. Um, let's talk about, uh, what happened with getting this mag so I ordered it um, I think it was a Sunday night uh, immediately got a, a email back from the credit card provider that the order had went through so and uh, let me tell you that same day I put in orders with primary arms uh, a couple other websites too I had like four orders all together, uh, all put in at the same time. Uh, roughly kind of same thing happened. You get a, a, a notice from your credit card company that it went through 
And then usually, and I'm sure we, we've all seen this, most companies today, you put an order in and you get a barrage of emails, right? Sometimes, you know, we, we're okay with it, other times it's too much, right? But at a minimum, I like to get, you know, an email back with my order number, uh, hey, we're gonna be shipping out, uh, we'll keep you updated. Then another one, here's your tracking number, it's on its way, this and that. So with uh, F5 manufacturing, it's actually, I wanna say maybe modern manufacturing, the emails come from. Anyways, I got the initial one from their credit card processing place. I never got an email saying, uh, you know, we've got your order, this and that. No problem. I let it go a few days and nothing. We get out toward five days, six days, seven days, still nothing. So I send an email saying, hey, just wanted to check up, uh, see when it'll be shipping, this and that, and send an email. Lo and behold, I get a reply from uh, the company and the first line of the email is something to the effect, let me think here, uh, so I can be as exact as possible. Um, if you want us to process a refund, we can do that right away. You know, with COVID going on, things take longer, this and that. Uh, your mag will be out in a couple business days. It just struck me as strange that the first words of the email are, well, we can process a refund. That's not the way you do business, <laughs> you know? I, I actually, in my email, I had said, hey, you know, most companies send out an email and sometimes we get barraged with them, I get it. Um, just please let me know, uh, you know, when it'll be coming. Just wanna make sure, I think the term I use, just wanna make sure my order and my money's not sitting in internet limbo. So yeah, the first uh, sentence of that uh, was kind of off-putting. And uh, I sent an email back saying, nobody talked or asked about a refund. I just wanted to know, did you get my order? Is it being processed? No problem, I get it. And then I'd wait for an email of when it shipped out. I'll put down here how many days it actually was, but it was over a week when I still didn't have any other uh, uh, um, conversation uh, with the company. I get an email finally from them and it says something, do you want a drum mag? So I open it up and it's an advertisement and they've got the drum mags in black, F dark, uh, flat dark earth, uh, whatever other colors and they're now on sale for $99. Keep in mind, I had paid 168 plus shipping was 189 for this mag. $99, I, I don't even have mine at this point and I've got kind of an irritated email back. So at this point I send an email. I said, hey, just checking on my order again. Now it's a week, it's at least a week at this point. Um, I just got an ad for $99. Now. You know, I, I just feel kind of weird. I placed the order at 189. I was okay with that, but now I got 99. You know, if it was 10 bucks off or something, no big deal, but it's almost half off, right? But I don't want to be that guy, so I said, hey, I got your, your ad at 99. Tell you what, if you haven't shipped it yet, which obviously they hadn't, I had no conversation with them, uh, I will, uh, it, buy another mag if you do them both at 99. Ship me two, uh, charge my credit card or call me at this number, I'll give you my credit card again, and I can get two, right? I mean, why not? I paid double price for this, basically. No email, no nothing, two days goes by, and I finally get an email then that, oh, my order shipped, or maybe it was the next day. So he probably got the email uh, that about the $99 and then when oh shit we better you know ship that thing fast uh, so we don't have to live up to our uh, advertisement so anyhow all total I don't know maybe a week and a half to get it which isn't bad now considering I'm okay with that it's just the lack of communication and then kind of feeling like you got it stuck to you um, obviously they got my email before it shipped based off 
my email to them, the date, the timestamp, and then the timestamp of the shipping uh, with the post office. It had not been shipped. He had plenty of time to answer my email and get the second one in with my order, or even if he was out or whatever, say, hey, yeah, I got your email, no problem. Uh, the, our mags are spoken for, or we'll ship you one, charge me, whatever, I don't care. But he had them in stock because when I clicked on it, uh, actually that night, the day before, they still had them. So, uh, yeah, just not the smoothest customer service I've ever seen. Now, in their defense, this is a fabulous piece of, I'm not even going to call it uh, an accessory, I'm going to call it a work of art. It truly is phenomenal. F5, their company, the people working there, the designers, this thing is nothing short of fabulous. Um, in, in its simplicity, in its lines, in its quality, uh, the knurling, the machining, the finishing, everything about this thing is stunning. A, a graphic designer could have probably worked on this. I don't know. Uh, it just exudes quality all the way around. The spring, nice and heavy, the knob, the knurling. Um, it, it takes a little uh, practice to get good at loading it. You got to kind of brace it, twist it. I may just not have it down yet, but it, don't get me wrong, it loads easily, it loads well. If you pull it down too far and drop some bullets in, one can fall through. I had one fall through, but uh, it cleared easy, reloaded it, and great. I have not shot it yet, that's why uh, we're here right now. I didn't go to the range, we're gonna go today. I will bring you a video on the function of it, but man, I am just, crazy impressed. If you had two of these on your belt and one in the gun, man, what a package. It is weighty, uh, especially loaded with 50 rounds, but it feels good in the gun. It's, it's, this weapon is so balanced that the drum actually adds to that and just phenomenal. Uh, great. Awesome, awesome. Couldn't be happier with the drum. I, I assume it functions well. Uh, everything I've seen on them works great. The, the quality, the design, it's fabulous. Uh, just lacking in the customer service department a little bit. And that may have something to do with them being busy. I get it. But, um, you know, an email in a week and a half or whatever would have been nice. That's all. And I wish I could have got more. I wish I would, I'd have another one in my hands right now. Um, so, you know, not really bitching, just maybe a, a learning uh, opportunity, that's all. And, you know, people can be short on temper this time, this, uh, with everything going on, you know, I'm sure, uh, you know, not a lot of people are making money, especially small businesses, trust me, I have one. Uh, it's, it's tough right now. Hopefully you're all getting through it. Uh, let's get back to the gun. We put the trigger in, we put the shoe in. There is the new shoe, and it feels really, really, whoop, got the safety on, really, really nice. Uh, as expected, you do get a little more leverage because that triggers further forward, changes the axis point. Uh, there is still some take up, but that sponginess is gone. It's crisper. Uh, the pull is certainly lighter by at least half. The reset is still long, but uh, audible and tactile. And from the reset position, not taking up the uh, take up, uh, much, much nicer. And very, very light. Like I said, the old one wasn't bad, but uh, it was just super heavy. And that's the other thing. Racking the gun is much easier now. So uh, let's just do a quick uh, uh, trigger pull weight test here. And we'll wrap this thing up. I will bring you another video of us at the range with it. And uh, show you how the gun functions, the trigger functions, and the drum functions. As well as all the other parts we put on here. So 
Uh, it's really coming along. What, what am I doing here? Just a hair under four pounds. Let's try that again. Now guys, this thing was like eight to 10 pounds before. Uh, just at four pounds. One more for posterity here. Four pounds. It's consistent. It's right on the money. It's less than half the pull weight of before and it feels better it's smoother uh, the installation was easy the uh, trigger spring itself much thinner so kind of a pain to put in to get hooked because it moved on the shaft it left more space on the shaft but uh, once i get the hang of it uh, it went in okay no problem shoe went on super easy uh, one thing i left out some of you may have that welded uh, screw on your trigger pack there's tons of videos out there on how to get that out um, pulling this thing apart it's not hard they there's uh the company that makes the spring kit and all makes a drill pack you can buy to get it out i don't think you really need it um, you can work on it with tools you have in your shop whether that be a dremel or uh, other tools and you should be able to get that apart not a big deal get a different screw you're good to go uh, really really happy with it I'm glad this showed up finally uh, I think it just tops the gun off it is with a bolt closed um, you got to give it a whack uh, it will cock um, but open bolt it goes in beautifully so, yeah, I thought we'd finish this off. Sorry I didn't bring any range footage, but I thought it'd be cooler to see this. We'll bring you a complete video on it. Um, awesome. <laughs> totally digging this thing. Like I said at the beginning of my video, this is my favorite firearm. Uh, home defense, carry it in the trunk, backpack, on vacation, uh, always in the car, always with me. Love this thing. You can pack so much punch into such a small package that uh, it's hard to replace this. One thing real quick, when you fold the brace, it will not fold flat. It hits the drum here, but uh, not that big a deal. Uh, still very compact, very foldable. Where you getting, you know, two more drums, 150 rounds in this little package, ready to go. So, hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked it, hope you learned something. Please uh, like our video down here, hit the bell to uh, get notifications of new videos coming out. Just finished shooting our 308 build, our DMR build's coming. Uh, what else? Check out our Instagram, check out our Facebook, check out Patreon. We could use your support, guys. Cost money to bring you all this stuff. Uh, and we would certainly appreciate it. If not, keep watching. We love you. And as always, Rockford Ordnance out. <laughs>